In this example, we want to solve the initial value problem y double prime plus 6y prime plus 8y equals 0, with y of 0 equals 2 and y prime of 0 equals 3. So to solve this, we want to first start with the characteristic equation of this differential equation, which is r squared plus 6r plus 8 equals 0. This comes from guessing y equals e to the rt as a solution. This can then factor as r plus 2 r plus 4, which means that our two solutions are e to the minus 2t and e to the minus 4t. Therefore, the general solution is y of t is c1 e to the minus 2t plus c2 e to the minus 4t. To solve the initial value form, we also need its derivative, so let's take that right now. y prime of t is going to be negative 2 c1 e to the minus 2t plus negative 4 times c2 e to the minus 4t. Now our initial conditions here were y of 0 is 2 and y prime of 0 equals 3. We can plug 0 into both of these functions to see what we get. So because we want 2 to equal y of 0, this is the same thing as plugging 0 into the y function, which will give me c1 plus c2 and we want y prime of zero to be three, which is negative two c1 minus four c2. We can solve this however we want. I will do it by elimination. I'll multiply the first equation by two and then add them together. So on the left, I will see four plus three is seven. And on the right, I will see two c1 minus two c1 is zero, two c2, minus 4c2 is a minus 2c2, which then tells me that 7 equals minus 2c2, or c2 is negative 7 halves. Knowing then that 2 equals c1 plus c2 means that c1 is 2 minus c2, which is 2 minus negative 7 halves, which is 11 halves. Therefore, the solution to the initial value problem is y of t is 11 over 2 times e to the minus 2t minus 7 over 2 times e to the minus 4t. You plug in 0 here, you do in fact get 2, 11 halves minus 7 halves. Take the derivative, you get negative 11 on the first term, and we'll end up with a plus 14 on the second term, resulting in a 3. So this in fact does solve the differential equation and meet the initial conditions, so it is a solution of the initial value problem here.